Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2021 and I'm playing around with their perfect brush. I did a video recently about the AI Quick Mask. Um, I'm trying to remember all the names. Um, I'll put a link to it there. And now I'm playing with the perfect brush. The masking capability in On One is honestly just amazing. Um, I'm having so much fun. It's incredibly powerful and super useful. I've got a landscape here, and what I wanna do is use the perfect brush to adjust it. So I haven't done anything to the photos, so like the before and after, there's there's no changes because I haven't done anything. I'm gonna start with adding a filter, and I'm gonna add HDR look. Here's the thing, I don't wanna apply HDR look everywhere. I just like it in the trees and the mountains. So to get into the perfect brush, you just click on the little masking um, icon there. I prefer to invert my mask, which is I make it black, which means none of the effect is anywhere. And that also means you gotta go up here and click paint in, which I was already on. And then of course I've got my brush here and right up here is the perfect brush as you can see. So I can turn that off or on. Uh, as you turn it on, it gives you some instructions, but it basically says it samples the colors under the center of the brush and affects those colors. So what I'm gonna do is go affect these darker colors, which is the mountains and the, uh, the trees. And all I wanna do is basically paint in that HDR look, and you can kind of see how the trees are kind of brightening up a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna paint this HDR look in, and as you can see, I am going over the edges, and I'm not being particularly careful, and that's okay because it's a perfect brush. So I'm gonna do that, now let me click on view, and there's my mask. I mean, that's pretty amazing. It figured it out. Now, there's a little bit that needs to be adjusted, so I'm gonna come in here and say paint out, and I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush, and I'm just gonna come over here real quick, and again, Look at that, look at the edges here, how it's picked up the different trees and things like that. I mean, I'm just kind of blown away at this. Now, if you wanna do further customization, you can go back to paint in and you can come over here and continue to wipe over some of these areas that maybe didn't pick up the full effect. You can see I'm just kind of slapping this on and there you go, I went over a little bit and that's okay, once again, I can just go like that to get rid of it. Go back to paint in, and I'm gonna go over here, and I'm not gonna hit every bit of it, but the point is, it makes an amazing mask very quickly that is maybe not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. So let me click view to turn that off, and now let me turn this filter off. There it is before, and there it is after that HDR look has been applied just where I want it to go. Now here's the beauty of it. You do that once in a scene like this and you've basically got your, ice, uh, you've isolated the sections of the photo that you want to um, address, or I should say, I've isolated the photo sections that I want to address, which is I want the mountains and the trees to get a couple of filters and I want the sky and the water to get a couple of other ones. So because my mask is in place, I'm gonna click on copy and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get dynamic contrast and I'm gonna leave that the default settings and I'm just gonna click paste. And now if you look at the mask, dynamic contrast has been applied to those areas. So let me go back to the view and let me turn this off and you can see the before and the after. It's adding a little bit of crunch, a little bit of pop to those areas. I like that quite a bit. Now I've still got the mask copied, so now I'm gonna go and play with the water and the sky. So I'm gonna start with color enhancer and all I wanna do is give a little bit more saturation kick to the sky and the water. So I'm gonna maybe make the temperature a little bit bluer, give it a little bit of saturation of vibrance, nothing specific, I'm just kinda of playing around. I'm gonna go in here and say paste, but in this case, I'm gonna click invert because I wanna flip it. So this time, if I view, you can see, remember, white reveals, black conceals. So my saturation and vibrance bump here is being revealed where it's white, which is primarily the skies and the water. Turn that off, and if I turn off the filter, you can see a little bit of bump there and a little bit of bump there, nothing major. I'm gonna click copy because I'm gonna go do a couple of other things to the sky and water. First one is tone enhancer. I wanna brighten them a little bit. So I'm gonna come in here and increase the exposure a little bit like that. And once again, I'm gonna paste this mask. So if I click view, remember I copied it from the previous tool, which was color enhancer, which was already inverted. So it's in the sky and water. And if I turn that off, you can see the before and the after. And one last thing while I have that mask copied, I'm gonna go add a little bit of noise reduction simply because I kinda like to smooth out my skies and water a little bit just kinda for fun. So I'm gonna bump that just a slight bit and click paste. And once again, view my mask, there it is. It's applying to the sky and water primarily. And so now that I've done all that isolation, which was obviously super quick and easy because of the perfect brush, I'm gonna go over to develop 
And I'm just gonna add a little bit of contrast here and see what I like. I kinda like that and maybe pull up the shadows just a tad. Maybe a little bit more contrast and maybe a little bit more saturation and vibrance just because I like it. So that's just kind of like a finishing touch. I normally would start on the develop tab and do some basic edits before going to effects, but I started on effects in this case because I wanted to show you how powerful that perfect brush is. I'm gonna hit Z to get into the view mode and get away from that brush, but let me show you the preview. That's what my photo started like, and that's how my photo looks now with super powerful and quick masking done with that perfect brush. And that's the power of some of these capabilities in On One. The masking is really, it's honestly kind of mind blowing. I'm sure when they made this brush and they started masking things, they were like, oh my God, it's perfect. Hence the name. And, and as I showed you, it, it will depend on the photo, of course. A lot of these colors back here kind of bleed together but you can go over and over if you need to, and of course quickly erase where you may have bled over into sections you didn't want to mask. But it's super powerful, super amazing, and you can't really beat how fast that is to mask in without having to worry about the edges. It's detecting those for you and picking up those color differences and allowing you to get the mask primarily where you want it. Quick, easy, powerful, that's the perfect brush in on one. I'm gonna use that all the time, along with the AI Quick Mask. These tools are just honestly amazing. I love them. So that's how it works, my friends. Hope it helps, hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you in the next video. Have fun editing, and adios.